Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today, how have you been? We are going to show you something very interesting. We are going to show you how you can move from um, Google to CAD. You know, there are different videos on the channel where I've shown you that. However, on today's video, we are going to use a different approach. We are going to use um, an AutoCAD leaves. We are going to use that list to now import a KML file to what to AutoCAD, right? Good. So now maybe you have um, some maybe some shapes here, maybe some plots or whatever the case is, or maybe some roots or some parts on AutoCAD. Sorry, on KML that um, Google had tried. Good, and you want to move it to CAD for some finishing touches, right? Good. So on the video on, on let's say on the channel, we have different videos how we've used them. Um, QGIS as the intermediary. However, on today's video, we are going to use what a list file, right? Good to actually what to bring in that KML file to AutoCAD. So the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to load what that list file. So if you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage us by subscribing. And if you're returning viewer, thanks for always I'm checking up on us. So we are going to use what the upload. So we type upload and then we hit what enter, right? Good. Then um, when the load and upload and um, applications um, window comes up, you now navigate to the folder you're working on, or maybe where you save that in lips file. You've actually saved it on the folder called um, KML to CAD. Then you select the file and then you load, right? Good. You can see that it has been what loaded them um, successfully, right? Good. Now, so if you're loading it for the first time, you'll have to see some other options. Maybe if you want to load it for once, maybe if you want to load it always, and some other options. So you can just them. Um, follow through it and then you just select the right options right good so it has been loaded so we can just what close that right now the next thing is for us what to call out to what the application right good so we want to be type um, IRT that's a shortcut now the IRT will now help us to what to to load that and uh, leaves that we already have it's used to what import online maps right now there are different options here and then we are going to see how we are going to select the right um, the right um, options now under the territory we are going to use world because we are not specifying it or we are not limiting it to any other territory for the coordinate system you click on this drop down and then you select any of the coordinate systems that actually you are working on right good so most times it's the projected system that um, we use on the card so you just um, scroll through to see which of the utm zones your location is and then you select them accordingly right good then under the, um, the search engine, we are using what um, OpenStreetMap. Then for the map type, you now scroll down to where you can find. Maybe if you are not there yet, you just scroll down to where you can find what um, KML. Then under KML, you select what import because we are trying to what import the KML file, right? Good. Then having selected that, you now come down to the folder. That means the folder where you have what your KML file that you want to link. This um, particular lip switch, right? Good. So you click on this browse. Good. So the folder has been linked. We actually saved it on the folder called what um, KML to CAD. So upon doing that, you just want to click on OK. Now the next um, command is for us to now select if we are going to, yeah, if we are going to bring in the KML file as a file or as a directory, right? Good. So if it's a file, you can type F or you just click on file. And if it's a directory, you can type D or you click on directory, right? So since we are going to use file, we just want to click on this file. Good. So you now get to the folder, you would have saved your KML file. Then you now select the file, then you want you open, right? Good. So the file has been loaded. And if you can't um, see it on your, your workspace, you just um, escape, then zoom extend that, um, Z enter, E enter, right? Good. Then it loads it. So this was actually the file, or let's say this was actually the shape that was saved or on um, Google it. So yours can be multiple polygons, yours can be a path, yours can be different points, you know, maybe you have them, um, you want to carry out a two-pool survey and you've actually used them um, different paths or maybe different points or you want to do root so whatever the case is and then you have it on a um, Google it as a KML file, you can easily import it to AutoCAD using that word, that list, right? Good. So this is the process you can use of this is the process of um, importing a KML file to AutoCAD using that um, list file. So if you have any challenge, comments or contribution, don't forget to leave a comment um, on the comment section or you can send us a um, direct message and we are going to get back to you as soon as possible. So until we see you on our next video, ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.